welcome thank you for watching uh, this is bony pelvis it is formed by two hip bone sacra and in living body also coccyx bony pelvis is divided into two part false pelvis and true pelvis and this is pelvic inlet pelvic brim this is also known as the pelvic brim this pelvic inlet divide the false pelvis from true pelvis this is for easy understanding this is true pelvis because all part is surrounded by bones this is true pelvis and this line is pelvic inlet and this line is pelvic outlet and in space between pelvic inlet and outlet is known as the true pelvis this is inlet and this is outlet and this part is known as false pelvis this is false because um, the posterior and lateral side has bony boundary but anteriorly it has no bony boundary so this is the uh, greater pelvis it has posteriorly and laterally has bony boundary but in front there is no bony boundary and this is true pelvis today we discuss about pelvic inlet pelvic inlet there is a continuous line so let's see how pelvic inlet is formed sacral promontory ala of the sacrum sacroiliac joint arcuate line there is the elevation there is the elevation this is known as iliopubic eminence this is ilium this is pubis in between there is a iliopubic eminence then there is a sharp line pectineal line there is a thick line pubic crest and this is a joint known as pubic symphysis the superior surface of the pubic symphysis so pelvic inlet is formed by sacral promontory ala of sacrum sacroiliac joint arcuate line iliopubic eminence sharp pectineal line thick pubic crest and superior surface of the pubic symphysis this is pelvic inlet the, this is the center of the pelvic inlet and this form the axis of the pelvic inlet and this correspond with the axis of the body of the uterus in female now the shape of the pelvic inlet the shape are different in male and in female in male it is heart shape because sacral prominent Uh, promontory is prominent it's projected forward so make a heart shape the sacral um, pelvic inlet in male is heart shape but in female pelvic inlet is round shape in female the pelvic inlet is round shape the pelvic inlet is obliquely directed obliquely so it's make a plane uh, it's make a angle with horizontal plane it's make a 40 to 60 degree angle with horizontal plane there is some measurement present in pelvic inlet this is the anterior posterior measurement 
It is from central promontory to the superior surface of the pubic symphysis. And there is also a transverse diameter. Transverse diameter is the widest diameter in pelvic inlet. And there is a no uh, specific point. We just measure the maximum uh, transverse diameter. And there is also a oblique plane which extend from one side sacroiliac joint and opposite side iliopubic eminence. So this is anterior posterior diameter, this is oblique diameter and this one is the transverse diameter. In male the anterior posterior diameter is 10 oblique diameter is 11 and transverse diameter is 12. In female, the anterior posterior diameter is 1 centimeter uh, longer. So anterior posterior diameter is 11, oblique diameter is 12 and transverse diameter is 13 centimeter. So, Mm, this is all about pelvic inlet. If you like this video, please press the like button. Uh, if you um, don't like, give your suggestion and valuable uh, comment. And if and I request to subscribe my channel. Thank you.